Hi. I'd like to introduce you to my patient, Mrs. Davis. Hello. Today we're making a palatal drop and a speech prosthesis. Do you notice how thick this is? This is the portion that fits up against her palate. It has the hooks for the teeth. And this is the bottom, the part that touches her tongue. Mrs. Davis has had her whole tongue resected. She does no longer have a tongue. She has a flap inside her mouth, which moves slightly. And the epiglottis, or the part that closes the airway off, is very high up in her throat. So the goal of this prosthesis is to bring the roof of the mouth, where your tongue usually sits, all the way down against that flap, so that when she puts food in her mouth, it hits the prosthesis, the plastic, and pushes it past the air tube or the epiglottis and down her throat into her esophagus. Now before we made this prosthesis for her, she had a very difficult time swallowing, right? That's that. She had the food would go in her mouth, and by food I mean applesauce, yogurt, things of that nature, would get stuck. She'd cough, sometimes it would get stuck in her airway, and sometimes it would go down her throat. There was really no predictability to it, right? No. Okay. So we made this prosthesis for her, which thickens her natural palate, brings it down to touch the, tongue, the uh, flap, which is now her new tongue, which I will show you what that looks like. Can you put your head back for me? Great. If you look inside her mouth, you will see there is no tongue. It's just that brown piece of skin that's there all the way to the back. Okay, can you raise your tongue for me? See, the tongue doesn't move. That's her jaw moving. Can you wiggle the tongue or the flap? Uh. No. So nothing moves in there. So what this prosthesis does, if you lift your head up, it will take this area of her palate and drop it down so that when she closes her mouth, it will touch the plastic. I'm going to put it in. And do you see how low, open your mouth please, see how low this pink plastic sits? So when she closes her mouth, this brown skin that you see touches that plastic and allows her to propel food down her throat. Okay, Mrs. Davis, so now sit, can you speak to them? Her speech is a little difficult to understand, but much better with the prosthesis in. Without the prosthesis, I cannot swallow garlic food. With the prosthesis, I was able to swallow pasta for the first time. So she's able to swallow solid food or pasta for the first time, and she's going to show us how she does it. So we have every kid's favorite, elbow macaroni here. And she puts it in her mouth and she's able to chew against the plastic using her jaw bones against that plastic. And then she swallows water to help, or coffee, to help the food go down. And you, I don't know if you could hear that swallow sound, but it went down her throat. Is it gone? Down it's your throat? Gone. It's gone down her throat. So she's so excited. No macaronis in there. No macaroni in there. Okay, so, are you excited? I'm very excited. So she's going to go home and have dinner and lunch with her family and breakfast. She can, you can go out to restaurants now and eat. She's not going to be eating steak and things like that. Her diet has changed to be pasta, fish, eggs, softer foods that she can mush with her jawbone against the plastic. But the fact that she can swallow now and the fact mm -hmm. that she can speak and you can understand what she says is huge. I would.
I'm going to take this out and you're going to speak without this so they can see the difference. Okay. Without the processes, my suit is still not still understandable. With the processes and I hear a wet difference. So let's put it in and let's see how you say that with this in. Now you can hear how much clearer I think the subtitles is in. So we're, Mrs. Davis is loving enough to allow us to film her so that she can help other patients that are out there that have had their entire tongue or part of their tongue removed because a speech prosthesis and a palatal drop prosthesis puts your palate once again in contact with the remnant tongue, whatever amount of tongue you have left, or with the flap that's in there so that you can swallow again and you can speak again. Thank you, Mrs. Davis. No, that's good. Thank you.